Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Morris Hills. Today is Tuesday, April 30th, and this is nighttime in the morning. In class news, attention juniors, there will still be ch a chance to buy prom bids Wednesday during all lunches in the gym foyer. Come out and buy them now. Attention all students taking the SAT test this Saturday. Please remember to come prepared with your photo ID, admission ticket with photo, calculator, and number two pencils. If you do not have your photo ID and admission ticket with proper photo, you will not be permitted to take the SAT test. Also, no cell phones are allowed. Your test scores will be voided if your phone vibrates or rings. In school news, the service learning class will be hosting de-stressing activities for students during all lunch blocks this week. Today is the second day of yoga, stretching, and breathing techniques taught by Mrs. Otavina. All are welcome to join. Please join our Google Classroom with the code on the screen. This is a message for all faculty and staff. It is time to vote for the annual bookmark contest. Stop by the faculty room anytime today through Wednesday and cast your vote on your favorite bookmark. The 2019 ITS student production and evening of one acts will be performed on Thursday and Friday on the Morris Hill stage at 7 p.m. for what promises to be a night to remember. Tickets are $8 and will be sold at the door. Because seating is limited to 125, please plan on arriving by 6.30 p.m., at which time the directors Emma DeLossi, Catherine Donovan, and Robert McKnight will open the house to the audience. Officer McQuesten will be holding the next mandatory safe driving presentation today at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. You must attend with your parent or guardian, and attendance will be taken. There will be no computers blocks 3A and C and limited computers block 4 in the library. In sports news, if you are interested in showing off your school spirit, then it's time again. An interest meeting for fall cheerleading will be held Wednesday in room 158 directly after school. It will last for about 15 minutes. In clubs news, congratulations to the chess club members who participated in the New Jersey State Chess Championship. Headed by team captain Yuvanchu Agarwal, team members James Liu, Karith Kandurthi, and Mukilan Karthikian earned fourth place in the New Jersey Junior Varsity Chess Competition, and James Liu also won the first place trophy for the fourth board member. Please join the MH Hope Gardeners this week today and Friday after school in the garden. Meetings will occur weather permitting. The, Envi the Environmental Action Club will hold its meeting tomorrow in room 252. And finally, today's kindness quote of the day by French essayist Joseph Hubert is, kindness is loving people more than they deserve. Thank you, Morris Hills. I'm Jacob Finn. And I'm Michael Melhorn. Please stay tuned for a very important message from the junior class and our ninth SAT tip of the day. Have a terrific Tuesday. Attention juniors. As you have probably already heard, Junior Prom will be canceled if a significant amount of prom bids are not purchased within the next three days. Prom bids will be sold today and Wednesday during all lunches in the gym lobby. If you have already purchased your prom bid, encourage your peers to do the same. If you have not yet purchased a prom bid, please do so or we risk the cancellation of prom. We encourage all juniors to attend prom. Don't wait until senior year to get involved in our class's activities. Start now. 
After all, you only have one junior prom in your lifetime. It would be a shame to miss it. We hope to see you all there. One of the biggest challenges with the SAT is time. It can be hard to get through each section in the limited time that you have, much less get the right answers and double check everything. Try to pace yourself and skip questions that seem to take up too much time. You can come back to them after you have answered the questions you know. The reading test has five separate readings, each of which should take approximately 12 to 13 minutes to get through, meaning you should spend approximately 45 seconds on each question in conjunction with reading the text. The writing test is shorter, so you should spend no more than 30 seconds per question.